Hey everyone, it's my first day here in Vietnam. Just arrived at my Airbnb and I am very, very thirsty, which means I need water. Now I also repeated a water test like this in Bangkok, Thailand when I arrived at, for the first time because I heard that Thailand's top water is generally not safe to drink. Well, I'm gonna repeat the same thing with Ho Chi Minh City here in Vietnam using this EC3 meter, electrical conductivity meter. There's also a TDS meter, total dissolved solid. They're uh, basically the same thing. It just gives a different number and they both measure how much dissolved solids are in the water. A higher um, reading means that there's more dissolved stuff in the water. In general, I don't like to see a reading above um, 200 for my tap water. But this Airbnb was very thoughtful to include uh, some bottles of water here from La Vie. I don't know how good it is, but we'll see how it measures up to Vietnam's tap water. I'm going to read the uh, label here, find out. Ooh, Nestle water. I'm uh, not too happy with Nestle's water quality, so we'll see if there's any better. This might be where it came from, the water. Sometimes the Nestle water um, company, they just use the tap water from a municipal source and bottle it and sell it. It's so bad. But uh, let's get two glasses and compare. V. This looks like uh, mineral water, but we'll see if it's just rebottled tap water. In general, I like to drink lower reading water and get my nutrients through my diet. Distilled water is usually closer to the zero level. So as you see here, it has no reading right now. I'm gonna put it in the tap water, let's see. Two hundred and seventeen. Actually this is uh acceptable for tap water. I wouldn't mind drinking it from the tap and or just boiling it at least. It's much better than Thailand, which had like a 400 reading. Let's try this Nestle water from La Vie. Holy moly. Is that reading real or no, what? 551 for bottled water? Holy smokes. I'm gonna redo that. I do not believe that reading. Yeah, Nestle water, you fail again. And uh, this Airbnb supplying this brand of bottled water, La Vie. I would not recommend getting it in Vietnam. You don't know what's dissolving. It says calcium, magnesium, potassium. Um, I'm not too sure about that. It could just be rebottled tap water. It's safer to drink the tap water here and just boil it, which is probably what I'm gonna do. And uh, I'll give you a reading after I boil the tap water. 
this uh, Airbnb gave me an electric water kettle. There's some water in it already. I'm going to pour that out. I'll give you the reading after the tap water is boiled. Usually the reading goes up because some of the water evaporates and it makes it more concentrated, but it does purify the water from bacteria. Test the water now after it cooled down a little bit. Okay, I went out and got some more bottled water. Some of the brands you may be familiar with if you're from the US like I am. Aquafina from the Pepsi Cola Company and Dasani from the Coca-Cola Company. Although Dasani it has a little bit of a different design than what I'm used to. And also some boiled tap water. So Let's test it out. Boil top water, brand new. The Sani bottle. I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna be drinking all three of these waters, I think. if. As long as the levels are good. But I think the tap water in Vietnam is actually acceptable. It's not really that high high. So in a pinch you can drink it, but I would still recommend boiling it. Okay. Let's see what the readings are for the water. EC3 meter. Tap water boiled. Two hundred and forty-five. Dasani coming in with a very low twenty-two reading. It's excellent. Let's see if Aquafina can do any better. Wow, Aquafina with a five rating. This is amazing. You can even use this probably for distilled water purposes, Aquafina. So if you're here in Vietnam, get Aquafina. I think even in the US when I tested Aquafina, it was pretty good. So now you know what the readings are here in Vietnam.